In this video, we'll set up Frame Streaming Gateway, SGA, with Nutanix AEG. SGA version 4 is yet another example of how Digin Frame makes desktop as a service truly simple. With this release, our customers can provide end users with secure external access to their digital workspaces without any need to manage SSL certificates or load balancers. Administrators will also benefit from streamlined SGA deployment in the public cloud and on-premises and enhanced self-service capabilities. I'm Ruben, Field CTO, and will show you how Frame simplifies desktop as a service. We logged in as customer admin on the Frame dashboard, where we can view Frame accounts and check if Frame Streaming Gateway is configured for each account. This Frame subscription has both Microsoft Azure and Nutanix HV Cloud account configured allowing streaming gateway clusters and frame workload VMs to run on public cloud and on-premises. The streaming gateway option in the customer admin interface allows access to the deployment and self-service configuration. New streaming gateway clusters can be deployed manually or automatically with management features like cluster extension available. Administrators benefit from streamlined deployment and improved self-service capabilities. Automatic deployment is only supported with public cloud infrastructure. All right, let's create a new cluster using the manual deployment option. We will deploy the node and the frame backplane will handle the configuration, load balancing and management of the streaming gateway cluster. We simply input the cluster name, choose the Nutanix HV provider, select the right HV cloud account, and that's it. No SSL certificates, load balancers, configuration files or DNS setups are needed. Just super simple and very cost efficient. The activation code is used to register the streaming gateway node with the backend. All right, let's set up the node. We logged into the Nutanix admin interface. The streaming gateway image already is downloaded from the Digion website and is imported. Let's create a new VM and fill in the name, computer details, disk, network adapter and configure the custom script that can be found in the public documentation. Let's power the VM and start the console session. Wait a few minutes and log in with the default username and password. We select option 4 in the menu since this streaming gateway node requires manual network configuration setup. Next we will select option 2 in the menu and configure the public IP address the node will use. The firewall and required security rules are already configured. Finally we select option 1. Registration of the SGA with the frame backplane. We use the registration code from the admin interface to activate the node. The streaming gateway cluster is registered and operational. When needed, additional nodes can be added for high availability. Let's create a new frame account and utilize the streaming gateway cluster for secure end user access. Multiple new and existing frame accounts can share the same cluster and additional nodes can be added as needed. The frame backend manages load balancing across these nodes automatically. A new frame account has been created and the streaming gateway cluster is operational. We can now start a frame session using the frame remoting protocol. Let's attach the streaming gateway cluster to an existing frame account. The configuration is changed and the frame account can be used. Awesome! Frame Streaming Gateway 4 is yet another example of how Digion Frame makes desktop as a service truly simple. Wow, time flies. We're already at the end. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.